Hello everybody, welcome back to Herbie's Garage. I got something kind of fun today. Uh, if you go back and look at my new delivery video, you'll see me at the beginning of that video pulling a little box off the top and I set it off to the side. I didn't show you guys what was in the box. So I was kind of waiting around. Well, I've got a little over 100 miles on the bike now, so it's about time to do this. But I'm gonna show you what I got from Venom Motorsports that came with my bike. Pretty, ain't she? Got me a new 26 millimeter carb. I got me a nice little air filter. And I've got the small little intake to put it all together. And I've got an assortment of jets. So today, we're going to take this off and put that on. All right, let's get started with this monster. I'll prop that up, give me a little bit of extra room. I already had that tank off, if you see my last video. I had it off from then. I'm going to go on the other side. Okay, I'm going to take off the choke cable. That's the only thing I'm going to miss on this new carb is not having the choke function at the handlebars. Okay, I'm going to take the cable out of the way. And I can get this other nut loose. Take the nut off of this side. And I already uh, ran the gas out of it. it still has a minuscule amount of gas in the line but I started up shut the petcock off and ran it for a little bit to empty it out out with the old and in with the new Okay, now on this old carburetor, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I had cut out those tamper-proof screws and got some regular screws to put in it. The reason I took this one off is I wanted to see what uh, jets were in it. Believe it or not, it's jetted pretty rich um, for a 150. It's got a 40 Pilot and a 108 main. So it was jetted pretty rich. Seemed to run pretty good except about mid-range. And I think that was mainly probably the uh, uh, needle issue. And that's a non-adjustable needle. So I'll take care of that problem with the nibby. So just put your, we got to take this stud out. So just take your nuts that came with your bike and just jam them together like that and that'll pull the stud out like so and then take these nuts back off I also bought a um, muffler and a mid pipe that I'm going to put on this too. So once I get this carburetor put on, 
Um, I'm not going to worry about jetting it until... I'll start it up, but I'm not going to worry about fine-tuning it until I get the muffler done. And I'm not going to do that on this video. So this is going to, just going to be an install of the nibby. Hopefully I'll get it complete and, and uh, start it up and running. All right, now I'm going to take the bowl off this because I think I'm going to start with a smaller pilot. Uh, this carburetor comes with a 40 pilot and I think a 110 main. I'm going to leave the main alone, but I'm going to drop the pilot down to a 35 because um, I'm thinking that 40 is going to be a little bit rich. These these uh, jets come different um, depending on the manufacturer. So a 40 in one might not be a 40 in another. But let's take this pilot out. There we go. I'll get my jets. I've already picked out the 35. I get it off to the side here. Waiting to put that one in. And as you can see, they're the same style. Exactly the same. This is a 40, so I'm putting in a 35. Hopefully I'm not making a mistake. Hopefully the 35 will work good. We'll see. Snug that up. Put the plastic piece back on. And we'll put the bowl back in place. There we go. I have not tried mounting this carburetor yet, so we're going to see together whether this works good in here or not. From the looks of it, it looks like it's going to be pretty close. Okay, now. Let's see, I think what we're going to do this comes with a little paper gasket. I don't know if I want to use that or well, I guess I could use it on here. I think I'll try this. That'll go like that. Now go like that. And we'll screw this in. And the reason you have to do it like this is because this rubber is too bulky to be able to put on with the studs. And I think that's going to look pretty good. Snug that down and snug that down. Snug, snug. Okay. Now, I 
think this here just has like a sealer on it. that holds it in and seals it. We can put this back in if we need to, put more sealer in it. But as you can see, it just pops in there. Okay, so now we'll take this slide, pull that spring all the way up, high as we can get it up in there. And pull that cable, line it up with the slot. Ah, that spring's a little stiff compared to some of the other ones I've done this with. There we go. Just got to line it up with that slot and let it come through the hole. Now we're not going to use reuse the slide, but we're going to reuse this. We have to take this off. And I guess we'll take this too, because we'll have to use the other one. Oh yeah, we won't need that other spring. Okay. Now, we'll let the slide come out. Okay, there's a little plastic piece in the bottom of it. And then there's a little holder inside it, like so. and then the needle comes out. I just want to see what position it's in. Looks like one, two, three, one, two, three. Looks like it's in the middle position. Um, since I'm going with a 35, I think I'm going to raise this up one to richen it up a little bit. No, I wouldn't raise it up one. I would go down one. So what we'll do is we'll lay it on a flat surface and push. I just laid it on the floor, put the open end down and pushed. Now I want to raise it up to give it a little more fuel. So I'll slide it in the groove I want it in. And I'll put it back on the floor with the open end up and push until you hear it snap. Oop, that didn't snap all the way on. Let me snap it. There we go. Now it's all the way on. You should be able to turn it when it gets into the groove. So that raises it up. That gives it a little bit richer. So I'm going to try that. And then we'll put our clip back in. You want to put your clip back in. You want the opening to be open with that slot. You don't want it to be blocking that slot. Otherwise, you have a hard time getting your cable in. You got to put this plastic piece over the top of the spring like so. And then put this in and then let it all go down into the hole. There we go. That looks correct. Now, I need to take my fuel hose off of my old carburetor 
and I need to attach it onto the nibby, like so. So when it goes in there, it'll be like that. That'll be good. Okay, let's go ahead. Now, whenever you put this slide in, this is the idle adjustment. You have a, a groove down this side. That's where the cable goes in, and you got a small groove or a bigger groove at the bottom that doesn't go all the way up. This is the side, the fatter groove that doesn't go all the way up. You face towards your idle screw, and then you look down the hole and make sure that it's all the way in, like that, all the way down the bottom, and then you screw your cap on, like so. and just snug it up. You don't have to get crazy tight with it. Okay. And we just shove this in the hole like that. And then we'll tighten this clamp up. We'll try to get it even with the other one so it looks nice and neat. Nice and tight. All right, now we'll try the air filter. Looks like it's going to go like that. Wow, look at that. Wow. <laughs> it's like it's made for. It goes right in that hole. It's tucked in out of the way. Man, you couldn't ask for anything better than that. Bring this clamp up. Loosen it up a little bit. Bring it up where I get to it. Snug it down. Okay, wow, that looks sharp. See how the throttle works? Oh yeah, oh yeah, works good. Looks perfect to me. I mean, everything looks like it's uh, fit together like it was made to. All right. Let's go ahead and hook up our fuel line. And one thing I want to tell you is make sure that you don't have any uphill travel on your fuel line. If it's got a, a bend in it, make sure that bend is going down and not up. You don't want any resistance to flow on your gas. Okay, I may have to get a longer hose for that. That'd be long enough for now, I think, but I'm gonna have to get a longer one because it just barely reaches. I'm gonna turn the gas on. Give it a little bit of time. Fill that carburetor bowl up. I don't know if that's got the bowl full yet, but we'll try it. Throttle response is really good. I'm amazed at that. It's not even warmed up yet. And the idle seems to be pretty decent. It's a little bit low, but it hasn't warmed up. That's the way the other one was until it warmed up, too. Wow.
Oh yeah. Let me turn this off. If I have some K&N filter spray, I'll probably give it a, a little bit of a quick spray with that before I uh, ride it. But uh, I think that's going to be it. I think everything looks good. It sounds good. And throttle response is good. I'll have to ride it to find out how it does. But like I said, I'm going to redo this exhaust. And uh, I'm going to see if I have to do any changes after that. I'll show you what I got. My plan is, is I have this little small mid pipe, which I'm sure you've seen them before. And I think it's going to fit perfectly on there. It may be a little bit short. I don't know because I'm going to cut it right in front of the catalytic converter. So I'm going to eliminate the catalytic converter. So this is going to sit... Uh, somewhere right about in here and then my muffler is going to come up it's going to be angled this direction a little bit my muffler is going to come up right here and it'll probably stop somewhere around the foot peg area maybe a little bit uh, before that but i won't have a catalytic converter when i'm done but it came with the strap and everything i need to attach it of course You've probably seen this muffler before. I know I've had it on uh, another bike, had it on my bras, and it was a good one. It's got the, uh, the movable baffle in it, and I, I like that because I don't want it to be too loud. But that's going to be put on next. So anyway, stay tuned for that video. That one's up and coming. Well, thanks for watching. This is the uh, 2023 Venom SS3, which is a KP Mini 150. And uh, I'm going to be doing a few videos on it. So please like and subscribe. I appreciate your time. Thanks.